Oh, get I guys! Get I guys! Get I guys! Uh, welcome to Arthur's videos. Okay, someone's asked me to do a special video on this on this job. Okay, I think it's going to be a bit more than half an hour on this. Depends on how I'm waffling. Yeah, man, what's under the white, white bed sheet? You know, what's this? I said, this here is an Italian safety hat, this white rag. You know, the old days, the Italians used to put this on their heads when they're doing concreting. But what's under there? Before I got to go, you know the old saying, all my videos, I need a yum char, man. I got to get a yum char to get, to, get the, to get the bullshit coming out, you know? So here we go. Here's a bit of a yum char. All right, so what's this story is? It's uh, something, it's a good topic. And I thought I'll uh, do a video on this, okay? Uh, cheers, guys. Okay. <coughs> What's this on the... Uh, this one here. So um, A friend of mine goes, look, there's no one out there doing videos on this particular way. Can you make a video explaining how to do this job? All right. So what's under the bed... Uh, under the bed sheet. Under the sheet of the Italian safety house. It's a belly rectifier, belly rect belly transformer. Okay, with a with a bridge rectifier board on it. Okay, and the reason is this guy purchased um, a board from Geeks PCB. Okay, they've actually there's two types of this. This one's got the eight pin and one's got nine pin. And the nine pin is for the kiss. It's got the external thing. I'll do another video on that one later. Okay, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you. How to put this onto this, okay? Because he wants to upgrade this. This is not bad, okay? This is this is a belly one, basically, you know? But I'll show you what a, a stern one looks like as well. This is an, a stern one, okay? This is also found in early um, early uh, belly machines, this one particular one, okay? This one oh, has to drill the holes. So this one here is a stern board, stern rectifier. And the Stern, Stern just did the same as Bally. They're all identical, basically, and all this. So you could also use this for your Stern revision, basically. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about about the Bally one, okay? And today's a stinker of a hot fucking day, too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'll probably have to, I'm going to sit down and talk about this and that. So what happens is, he got it normally with these. Um, you get it inside the... I'm going to see if it's in camera view. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, camera view is here. All right, so there you go. You can see my gut. Uh, it's too many yum chars, man. Um, what happens is, this is inside your machine, sitting like that on your machine, basically, so-so. There is three screws here, and there's three screws here. So what you've got to do, remove it under your plugs, basically. Then, then it's easy to work on, basically. So you've got it easy to work on in that. And um, let's just try to double check because I'm sitting down trying to talk with this. So what you do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down, okay? And first of all, you're going to get a screwdriver. Why well, say long? Uh, long is better, okay? So what you do, you get, I'm just trying to see if it's still in camera view. Okay, so what you got to do, you got to undo these three screws, okay? As I said, I've never done one of these. I normally talk about my game boards and all the other stuff. So if my hand's in the way of whatever, you know, just wear it. So what you got to do is undo those three screws. And, and um and it's got four lugs this one's only got uh, one stuck in here so get a pair of pliers a long nose okay and you pop it out basically so see how the others are all missing so yeah don't worry about that see how they're all missing and the reason they've got that heat sink there is to put it across the old oh, fuck, I can't sleep. Uh, across there oh yeah I'm still in good view okay across there to dissipate the, the heat and don't forget this is what this one here is out of his um his Playboy 78, okay? So you think about it, 78 and now what, what year you're watching the video in. And this one's not bad because it hasn't been, all the pins haven't been burned out. There is a little bit of burn right here if you have a sticky nose there. It's a little bit of burning on the plastic. But most of the others, they've heated up. Because what happens is the pins that go in there, they start making arcing. So now, how do you do the transplant from this, from this to this, okay? So what you do is... Flip it over, whatever's easy. I'll flip it over this way. I'll flip it over this way. It's easy. Okay, so you flip it over so you can sort of see it. All right? So what you do is make sure you keep an eye. Uh, make sure you record the colors of your transformers on whatever they are. This one looks like it's still original. Might be some others, some other games that might you made. Someone's replaced it with diff different colors. So make sure you record on the tabs 
on the transformer they've got numbers uh, it was a number you can see numbers in the camera view yep you can see in the camera view uh, in nine numbers not what's this one here it's 18 17 16 15 and all that so what you do you make sure you record that on a piece of paper or take a photo basically because as I said to you, there was a lot of priests who've worked on a lot of machines, and I've got no clue what your your machine consists of, basically, you know? So, I don't want you to go, yeah, man, you blew my machine up. No, verify what your work, basically. So, this one here, it looks like it's all original or not. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is, while it's upside down, these guys here and that have actually wrote down the white and black, green, red, white and red, black, blue, red, white, green, and orange, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, hang on, I'm gonna get some water, fuck, it's hot today. All right, so what you gotta do, all right, so you gotta verify your the workmanship, oh shit. You gotta work, verify the work. So here at the moment, you can sort of see that's green, that's your white and black, which is correct, going here. This one here, okay, if your color, if your wires are pretty shit, get an earbud, okay, get an earbud, get some ISO, put it on the ISO in there, and then what you do, you wipe it up to get rid of the grime off your, off the wire, if you can't sort of see what the hell it is, basically, you know what I mean? So you can clean it up so you can sort of see what it is, basically with a bit of ISO. So we worked that out, then there's the red, okay, the blacks, okay, there's the blacks, Okay, and there is a yellow, there's the yellow, let's see, you could sort of clean it up a bit to verify it, you could, or you could go to, uh, to your drawing over here, see this, this is your drawing off that board, you could get that, have a sticky nose on that, and also there's a wiring diagram. So, continuing on, like I said, this, I haven't done one of these before, okay, and um, it was a good suggestion from him to do it for others, so you just double check, see how there's a white one here, and there is a green one here, which is green, and there's orange, basically, so, and there's a little thin red one here, so there's a thin, so there's a thin red one, and there's a thick red one, okay, so keep that in mind, so what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to flip them up and back again, you can do types of thingos, you can use a solder sucker, to suck out the wire from the top, you you know, like this, okay, give me my, I can't believe my, my soldering iron, it, everything is on the left and I'm a right hander. So what you, you do is you go like this, you heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, and you can suck it out, okay? You can do it the old fashioned way, you know, with a solder sucker. But no, me, I've got the real McCoy. So what you do, you get in, you go, I've got to heat it up because fuck, it went into sleep mode. So this is a 1.6 in my Heiko. All right, so I'm just going to let it warm up again because there it's warmed up. I'll get in there. Okay, so basically, I'm sucking it all out. All right, put a bit more, put a bit of solder in there. Okay, so it's come out now. All right. So that's one of them, okay? So I'll do the other ones, okay? Because I'm talking about a bit of, I'll put a bit of fresh solder in there, heat up, all right? And they, you see how they're popping out? All right, so you remember that the thick red one is here, okay? All right, let's keep going around, basically, you know? Uh, where's the other guy here? All right? All right. You can see how the tracks come off, they're all coming off, it's because of their stupid age. Basically, you know what I mean? Alright, slowly, slowly. See how they're coming out nicely? Well, sometimes they're a bitch. So I put a bit of solder on, you know? 
All right, so there you go. Can't believe what I'm doing on a freaking stinking hot day today. So the guy's made it idiot proof because he's by writing them all down, you know what I mean? So it's not bad, you know what I mean? Hey, don't get me wrong, man. I'm not getting anything out of these guys. I'm just sort of helping this guy. He just goes make a video. So again, you know what I mean? So to help others out there, you know, it doesn't matter whose board you use, at least it's out there, you know, you know, you can work with, you know what I mean? There. All right, so there you go. What's this one here? The blues. The fuck the blues. As I said, put a bit of fresh solder on the job, basically, you know, to get it to get them going again, you know. Have some. Okay. Is it this easy to do on the bench rather than on your machine or whatever? Just find a bit of light. Suck them out like I'm doing now, one by one, you know. So, yeah. But make sure you verify, you verify your cables, okay? Don't believe this video, whatever it is, what you see in these colours are the same. Your transformer, someone's might have changed them, you know what I mean? So don't always verify the work, you know what I mean? So, yeah, basically, you know. So verify your work. All right, so I've removed it all out. So you can sort of see someone's put some fucking uh, wire over here, or whatever it is I've noticed. But the board is in good nick, you know. It hasn't. It's a little bit of black shit around here, and it's not bad. But it's still in good nick, you know what I mean? But the track's fatiguing over, over time. All right, so we got this guy's board. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom and work back up again. So do it reverse, reverse basically, you know what I mean? So I'm going to start off with the blacks, shove them into their holes. Okay. All right, so I'll get my solder, clean it up with a bit of a, um, clean your tip out with a bit of this, you know, stick it in the hole. All right, you need a whole joke here and there. So what happens is I'll start it off. I'm going to put a bit of solder in from the side and let it pour in from the from the rear to the front, basically, you know what I mean? All right, so put a bit of solder there, okay? So you, I'm doing it backwards now, you notice how, I'm, it's a backwards, I'm going from where I ripped the last ones out, to, then populating them, you know what I mean? But the thing is, if you notice the solder is not flowing properly, is because this, uh, the ground, there's a lot of ground plane, and the heat's dissipating out of the iron, you know, out of there to the solder. You know, that's what's happening, see how the, the track is thicker? So that's really good because it's, um, the solder and the heat is dissipating into it you know basically you know so this yellow one goes here all right so I stick him through the hole all right clean the iron get some fresh solder it's 60 40 don't use that fucking unlead uh, lead free shit you're wasting your fucking time you're better off just slamming your head in the fucking car door mate that stuff is disgusting it should be banned you know but um yeah so we got the blue all right so we're gonna stick the, bl uh, the blues over here. Fucking hell, it's a solder. It's, it's the wires that sprung out. Okay, he's in the hole. He's in the hole. Uh, there you go, flip him back over. Put a bit of solder. Put a bit of solder. Okay, see the solder? It's nice and volcanic, if you see. They're all like a nice round dome around there. Alright, so then we got the red. The thin red, this one, remember? The thin red. The thin red does want to stick in that fucking hole. Okay, so we go across. Okay, bend him over. Okay, put a bit of thing out. See how it's nice and right, dimish. Then we got the white. Get the white back into the hole. All right. See how he's sticking his tongue out. Bit of a ring out. You see? Okay, his tongue. 
his tongue's gone back inside a little bit. So put a little hit, pop his head out a bit, you know, so you can have a bit of a snag out of there. So the next one is green, okay, again with the same. Okay, if you notice I haven't stripped nothing, they're all just been popped out how I stuck them out, basically, you know. So here, see how it's gone out too far? I'm gonna put I'm gonna pull him back in again. As I said, I can't see what I'm doing because the camera is on the left hand side of me, so as I said to you, I'm just going with whatever it is in video. Okay, there you go. Let me put a bit of solder in there. Okay, yep, he's sold that. So he's gone back in. So what I'll do is I'll hold him and then I'll do that. Bring his, get his little tag coming out. Don't worry, it's heated up a bit. Then we got orange. This is the orange. All right, we put orange over here. All right, so orange. Have you noticed, as I said to you, I didn't have to put any, uh, nothing on these wires. They're all got a bit, the coatings where I suck them out of the, uh, the sockets. If they haven't, you've got to strip them back, tin them, and then put, uh, put them into the hole, basically. So there we go. Oh, what's this colour? What's this guy? White and green. The white and green guy is going to go here. Okay. White and green's go there. But it's, mate, as I said to you, it's a bitch. White and green, come on. Stick him in there. All right. The white and green. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, white and green, get the solder. You know, this is when you need a third hand. Okay, so, okay. there you go. See, he's in there now. Okay, uh, moving along. Put the green guy up here. He's in there. All right. So, again, the solder. Okay, the green guy. Okay, he's in there. All right. So then we got the white and black. Remember the white and black? He's going back in there. He's got a bit of a, a track around him at the moment. So the old track is there. Got to get rid of him. You know? That's the old track. See how we pull the old track off? Okay. Okay, clean him up a bit. You know? Oh, get the solder. Show it in there. Okay. At least the veer holes are pretty large, okay? Which is pretty fucking good, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, again, you know, it's pretty fucking good. So, then we got the red. Okay. We'll put the red back in there. The actual red is the actual um, F6 is your power, input power. Okay. The AC going in. Doesn't matter if you're running 240, 110, or 220, or whatever shit you've got. If they're always standardized, you know, don't take my word on this. They always check the colors, man. I don't believe sometimes, you know, this one still hasn't been molested, okay? Now, then we got the, the other one is that white and red. See, it's sort of faded a bit. So it's not yellow, it's actually red. So we put him on the last one. Okay, the last one. Uh, put the solder there. Okay, he's, see how he's stuck his, he stuck his fucking head back here inside there. Well, let's pull him out a little bit. All right, so what we do is just put a bit of heat there. Okay, and that's it, basically, you know. But it's done. All right, so uh, let's check that fucking solder job. There. I don't want you going, oh, man, check that shit solder joint. You know what I mean? What the fuck's that? Okay. All right, there's that. Clean this guy up a bit. Okay. All right. So that's it, basically, you know. So let's double check all the work, basically, on all this. All right, so let's double check what we was explaining. We got our red and white, we got our red, we got our white and black, we got our green, our white and green, we've got our orange, we got another thin green here, our white, the red, your blue, two blues, the yellow, which is your AC, and your two blacks. That is it, man. That is it, basically. Simple as shit. So now when you want to put it back onto your board, okay, all you do is put it back to your board. Make sure you tuck the wires underneath. This guy, I'm going to replace. I'm going to replace a couple of posts, and you don't need to put those three screws back in there again because they're using uh, these are 30. Oh, these are 15 amp uh, bridges. That's a 15, a 10, and a 25. They're not using the old bridges or what they used to use back in the day. And by the way, if you want to know the truth, uh, what are those numbers? 
24, 24. Hey, they're all the same. They're all the same uh, bridges in this era, okay? So that is basically it. So all you got to do is double check your work, okay? Uh, before you plug plug anything into your board, disconnect your boards up the top, okay? Make sure you don't plug it in case you had something wrong and it'll blow all your boards out. So be careful of that, you know what I mean? So what I could do now, let me check my time. I've got eight minutes left. Okay, what happens is, I've done all that. So what I'm saying to you, when you plug your boards in, and when you do that, make sure your connectors here are, are like new. Not so, like another guy soldered his wire onto you. What's the use to replacing this if you're not going to replace the, the housing on these? Okay, so do the same, okay? So then what happens is when you plug this in, on your machine, disconnect, your, disconnect all your plugs off your boards. Then get your multimeter, okay, and check each test point to make sure all your voltages are correct, okay? Basically, I'm saying to you guys, you know? So double check your work, check your wiring, and do that, okay? So let me get my book out, okay? I've got a, I've got a plug, I've got a plug, okay? I've got a plug made up, okay? I'm going to power it up, okay, on the bench, all right? We're going to put something there so I'm not fucking short out anything. Let me get the Italian hard hat, okay? Here's the Italian hard hat. Okay, so that's it there. Okay, don't forget, uh, there's a bit of voltages here, so be careful on that. I'm going to warn you, you know. Don't go, you know. And then fucking give me that and tell me this and that. If you haven't got any clue, okay, ask somebody to give you advice and all that stuff. But see, as I said, you can always give it a go and try it out yourself. I'm just trying to find an alligator clip. The reason is I've got to um, connect the ground to this board so I've got to find the ground plane on this board which is okay where's the ground on this let me check the drawing out the fucking paper's falling apart uh ground let's look at ground ground is number one number one of that ground okay ground Just bear with me, I've got to make sure fucking everything is correct on this, you know what I mean? Okay, that's ground. Okay, that's ground. Alright, so now I've made sure the ground is pin 1. And the reason I'm saying it is that is, if you have a look at this circuit diagram. Oh fuck, I just killed the book. See this circuit diagram here, put in a view. See where the bridge rectifier is? And see that? That's a little ground symbol. And it's going down to all these wires. And I've noticed it says uh, number one is ground, which is general illumination return, is number one. So I've put my multimeter on number one. Okay, I'll put that there on my multimeter. I've got my multimeter here. And now I'm going to go test uh, pin number one. Okay, so test number one is 5.4. Okay, here's my multimeter. It's 5.4. Okay, so if I turn it on, okay, it's 5.8. Okay, because there's no load, basically. You know what I mean? So, then number three, number three is over here, is, is a 12 volt. Don't forget there's no load on this, okay? So that's load, okay? Now we're going to go to number four, number two, okay? Number two is 180, which is your displays. And then you've got number test five, which is 43 volts, basically. So I'm not going to do number, number, what have we done? AC number four test point four is your AC that's for your uh, globes basically so that goes differently on the wiring I've got to do it on the jumper basically here so do you get the point I'm trying to explain to you guys so how long did it take me I, wait, less than 25 minutes so as I said to you you can always make another little adapter like this because that one there that one there is your AC see that E1 and E2 the three volts, that's your AC, which is six and seven of the uh, the 10 pin of J2, basically, you know. So, as I said to you, it's pretty straightforward, okay. Uh, it didn't take me long. As I said, you can have simple videos. Uh, you can use a solder wick, this shit here. You can put it on there to use it, or the solder sucker, you know. You don't have to go and spend big dollars like I have. But um, it, it, was a, it was a good suggestion for me to do this. I'll do another one with a KISS one, which is slightly different up here. But as I said, you can use this for a stern one. 
and a belly one, basically. So they're interchangeable. But one thing I can say, uh, make sure you change the headers, basically. You know? So whatever these headers you've got, is, for example, these. Mate, just change them. Put the pins in there. Use a good crimping tool and, and to do the job. Don't solder the fuckers on, the, on there. You're just wasting your fucking time, you know? It's like driving a car with ball tyres, you know? So, yeah. So, do that. As I said, it's a simple fix. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some uh, standoffs for this guy. And I'm going to pop it in, give him a call. And I say, mate, your board's fucking ready. And it's Calabunga and it's gone. So, as I said to you, you know... It was a uh, again always always trying to find good topics to talk about for you guys. I've done mate this bench this bench is forty years old. The amount of repairs this thing has done is unheard of. Okay, I don't give a shit with the stains on it or no stains. Okay, this thing has repaired a lot of product. Okay, so on that note of mine, thanks for watching these videos. You know the old saying, you know, pinball machines and video game is a passion. I do it because of you guys and the love and that. And uh, cheers for watching this video, guys. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks for...